Hi guys, welcome to Tiffany Talks. Today we're gonna do an easy no makeup makeup look. Now, what is a no makeup makeup look? It is looking put together or slightly enhancing your natural features in a very natural and minimal way. You need minimal products and minimal time to get this look done within maybe 5 to 10 minutes depending on your skills. But I would say for this, you will not need any sort of skill. I'm here to teach you guys on how to exactly get that no makeup makeup look. So let's go from this to this. As I'm somebody with dark circles and hyperpigmentation like acne scars and freckles, I like to go over with a color corrector first and then the concealer so we're gonna try to do this look just with concealer if you don't have these skin issues skip the color corrector just go into the concealer all the products I'm using on this video are mentioned on the description below so go check it out for more details so I have just put the color corrector on and I apply my concealer on top of that so as I said we're gonna avoid foundation because when you use a lot of base products you're gonna get your face looking cakey which we do not want for an everyday minimal look just use the concealer on top of the dark circles and hyperpigmentation now you can use your fingers or a beauty blender or brushes like this to blend it all in you can let it sit if you're using a high coverage concealer but for this no makeup look i would recommend using a lighter coverage concealer you know that is very light on the skin because you're gonna do this look on a daily basis as you can see it's all getting blended in the color corrector has just cancelled out all the uneven tones of my skin i can see this side is looking much more brighter and balance compared to this side let me just blend this side as well this is my skin after blending the product out now i like to set it all in with a setting powder this would make sure that your concealer is not creasing over time now you can see this side and this side this side is more matte this side is still like dewy and glowy it's gonna melt away in the sweat so just wanna like pat it all over your under eye especially wherever you applied your base products you just want to go over with the powder and now the base will not move off that you're going to go in with a liquid blush this is optional i like to have a bit of contoured face because my face is round so i like to go in with a blush i am using a liquid one first you know find the high point of your cheeks and i also like to go in on the nose and what you want to do is you know grab a brush or you can use your fingers blend it out next as you take it to the forehead and the chin area adding this blush would give your face that dimension that you never had basically i know it's looking all red right now but trust the process you guys for the eyes you can either leave it plain or use your blusher as eyeshadow i am gonna do a neutral look so this is my nude palette neutral brown and just going over as the base there's more dimension on this side compared to this side so i would always recommend you to do some sort of eyeshadow look even if it's a no makeup look just to add some brown eyelids or something to make it look you know different center you can use this beige color like so it's very easy to do on a daily basis very nice and simple now you can leave it like that and just add mascara but i like to add a bit of waterline just to make sure that my eyes are looking wide and open not so sleepy light liner would make the difference now i'm gonna go in with some mascara we can go with some natural looking mascara this is the lengthening side this is the volumizing side so you can actually twist it it's really cool just applying the mascara the usual way you see the difference on this side to this side this side looks more awake and that's all you need for an everyday look especially if you're going for work or college you know, you don't look like you're tired which you are this is my eye look it's very nice and simple and subtle now i forgot to do my brows you can use a brow gel to make your brows look very natural and minimal this one is from sephora this is a tinted brow gel so you don't need a brow product on top of this it's nearly over all you have to do is just brush your hair through if you're not going to do a full-on brow routine at least comb them up like so so we just frame the face nicely yeah that's it what you want to do next is powder i like to use loose powder to 
make sure that my under eyes are not creasing go under your eyes like so just pat it go over on top of your blush as well to make it look a bit blended from this side to this side this side looks all cakey and like drippy this side is all packed in which is perfect for the tropical weather if you have under eye creasing like me i would recommend you go over with loose powder on top of your normal powder just around the nose because that's where i said a lot that's it though i put a lot of powder on my face is still looking glowy and dewy that's because of the liquid blush i'm gonna go on top with the powder blush just mixing these two shades this is to make sure that your blush is gonna last longer just swirl it around current trend is to make your face look flushed although it's a no makeup makeup look you need to have a nice rosy flush to your face especially if you're in a hot country it's called blush blindness as well now the only thing that's missing is the lips so i like to go in with a lip liner always even if it's a minimal look because the lip liner is going to make sure that the lip color stays all day long i'm overlining the lips i'm using a nude pink shade it's like an everyday color it is for her for any sort of lippy really now you can even fill it in just to have that extra layer do that now you can see there's automatically a color now you can go in with any sort of nude shade i'm going for a nude pink this is a shade really natural if you want more coverage go in with this maybelline vanilla product this is not really bright but it's gonna make sure that your lippy is gonna last you the whole day so for this lip combo, all I used was the Huda Beauty Lip Liner in Warm Brown, Beauty by Roche's Tinder Date Lipstick, and Maybelline Vanille in Irresistible. So yeah, that's the look. Let my hair down, or oh, maybe not, I look good like this. Finally, you can go in with a spray just to set it all in, especially if you're in a hot country. The flawless finish. This is the finished look, dewy and very subtle as well. It's very easy, saves you a lot of time. You can reduce the number of products you use depending on your likings. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you guys liked this and found it useful. Comment down below if you want more makeup content from me. See you guys again in another video. Bye!